All right. Good evening, everybody. Session 26 is in the bag. I always forget where the stupid camera is. There we go. Hi. Um, yeah, so we just finished our session. Um, quick confession, I did not prepare. I should have. I didn't. I was playing a video game instead, as uh, even Dungeon Masters are wont to do. So a lot of winging it tonight. You can tell in the stream of consciousness there's a lot of ums, ahs, and wait a minute. Uh, but the game went, you know, it functioned. I would make an effort to do better next time. I need to. It's only fair to my players to put in the time. And I just didn't. I intended to, but the procrastination monster um, did not wake up the panic monkey. If you've seen that video, you know what I mean. So, as it is, here we are. Um, so, uh, I expected them to explore the house, which they did. There is a surprise to be found in the house. They did not find it. And then I expected them to explore the quarter and sort of fish around the city. They didn't. Um, there was a desire to go and commune with God, and that didn't happen. Um, I thought about how to apply different religious things, and there, there are rules for it. For the paladin, I don't know. For a cleric, I certainly would have. So a little bias on my part. But um, Blunt Brannigan had ex uh, expressed a desire to sort of do some communing and stuff. And um, he cleaned a cathedral. I will think of a way to make that pan out next time. Um, but as it is, you know, nothing, nothing specific came out of that tonight. They got that done. And then, um, no, sorry, th there was an emergency NPC. In the module, it says if they don't find the clues, they could get stuck. If they look like they're going to get stuck, have this NPC show up. I did that thing. Um, it worked, right? As prescribed in the module perfectly addressed the situation however they also adopted this npc who has nine hit points and they know he has nine hit points and they've they've encouraged him to go and be a mighty warrior um part of the party and so i'm gonna play him as such and probably get him killed as soon as i can that's this is my plan so we'll see what happens um anyway so they did, they did all that. And then they cleaned the cathedral. And then they're like, we're going to go kill the emperor. And so here I am, not prepared for that at all. I was going to do some more investigation. And there's like clues to drop. They don't care about clues. They're just going to go kill him. So I just pull in stuff out of my butt in terms of conversions on the fly, right? Thugs are thugs. Done. Um, the barbarian gnome, that's a tribal warrior. It's as close as I can find. I, the CRs are wrong and so forth. The combat's going to wind up being too easy, I'm sure. It is what it is. Uh, the, um, excuse me, the emperor himself is a bard. So I just grabbed the bard out of Mordenkainen's and changed the name. We'll see how it works. They haven't faced him yet, so I have a week to uh, go and look at that and maybe reprep a little on that. But had they barged into that room, they would have fought, you know, four thugs, a tribal warrior, and a bard. It is what it is, you know. And sometimes, you know, in the old school D&D, &D, that's the way it was, right? If you wandered into a dragon's cave, you fought the dragon that lived there. There was no consideration of what your level was or what your capabilities were. You happened to go to that place, so you dealt with that situation. Um, that's not the design for this. Neither 3rd nor 5th edition really necessarily designed that way. It's definitely more OSR. So I'm, I have the opportunity to correct it. I might correct it. I may not. I'm going to look and see. It would be interesting to make it a little bit more difficult of a magical encounter. Um, the risk is I'm going to cheapen the chapter and make this whole chapter go by too fast and not seem as significant as the others. But I don't hate that either because this one is... Um, well, let me take a step back. So Paizo uses, or used, probably still uses, a commissioned author sort of framework so they have six chapters they hire six people and they give them each a vague sort of overarching story and then they each sort of write their own thing this thing doesn't fit this story that well there's a quarantine section of the city all well and good but it wasn't alluded to in in really any way prior should have been wasn't um the challenges from thugs and bards and, and things not really going to stack up they just cleaned out a, a cultist thing um, they had the Red Mantis assassins that they just fought nearly killed them. I mean, certainly put one of the party members down right away. So, yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's best that this does go quickly. Um, 
I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll prep. I want to put a little bit more effort into it. I'm a little ashamed to, and and just being honest with you guys, the four of you that view this, that I didn't, um, didn't give it everything that it probably deserved, and I'll have to uh, maybe make that up a little bit. But if it goes fast, it goes fast. We go on to the next part, which I think is going to be better than this one. So I think that's it. Um, yeah, you know, didn't prep. Threw things together, even with Fantasy Grounds, it worked reasonably well, right? Uh, search for the NPC, drag them into the thing, change the name, change the icon, and away we go. Um, the only thing that, that I could have taken more time for was the challenge ratings and stuff, but I'm running it all as one single combat, so it may have mathed out anyway. Yeah. Um, also have to see if this causes them to level up. I bet it does, which relatively undeserved. But again, it's, it's disjointed because different people did the work. And I've not done any work to smooth it out, as I sometimes do, extensively did with Ghosts of Saltmarsh. And sometimes I don't because, you know, I am buying these things as a value add. So, yeah, I'm also running three games a week. And if I was only running one game, then I'd probably be customizing the material all myself and, you know, coming up with a unique story and then turning around and selling it to you faithful viewers. But as it is, uh, running things as written, it's not anything I'm necessarily ashamed of doing. I could probably do better. I believe we're at that point enough. Thank you, as always, my few loyal viewers. Um, and again... Please reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Any feedback at all that you have would be great. Um, otherwise, a view count when I go and air the next one of these is very much appreciated. So thanks again. Have a good night. Have fun playing D&D. &D.